guys and welcome to today's 15 minute abs and core workouts. I really hope you're doing well. Um, I'm not one for big intros so I'm just going to go ahead and get started okay. So for today's session we've got five rounds. Rounds one and two we've got four exercises. We're then going to swap them for rounds three and four and then in round five what we're going to do is add these exercises together. So we'll be working for 30 seconds on each exercise so by the time we get to round five, we'll be working for four minutes without any stoppage, okay? So what I'll do, before we get warmed up, I'll just show you the first four exercises we've got in today's workout. And then we'll get warmed up and get going. So as I said, abs and core today. Um, and all we're going to need really is a mat and one dumbbell or a weight of any sort, really. Um, so down on the mat for exercise one, we're going to place our weight just behind our right hand there to start with and then what you're going to do you're going to grab the weight pull it across behind to where your left hand is and then we're going to keep doing that so you're just pulling the weight through your body just to behind where that hand is going to sit then exercise two what we've got is supermans so this is a great one for the core so we're in that tabletop position hands just underneath the shoulders and then the hips just above the knees there. So what we're going to do as we bring up our left hand we're going to kick back with that right leg. So we're going to do left arm first. We can hold it there if you can. Hold it there for three seconds then bring it back okay. And what we want to make sure of is that we're not dropping the hips and we're going to have a little shake but nothing too crazy okay. Then our next exercise, exercise three, is going to be a forearm plank. So down onto our forearms, hands parallel or arms parallel, feet out behind you, nice strong core, okay? So your back's nice and flat, you're looking straight down, relaxing through your head and your neck. Just bracing that position there. And then our last exercise on this mat here in these first two rounds is going to be Again, another superman, okay? So this time, it's going to be right arm, left leg. Takes a couple of seconds just to get used to the thought of doing it. So right arm, left leg, not like I did the first one. And again, hold it there if you can for three seconds, then bring it back in. Okay, so we're going to get warmed up now. Um, nothing too strenuous. But something that's just going to get our heart rate up a little bit and make sure that we're nice and warm through our muscles and our joints. So if you take a step back to the back of the mat, all we're going to do to start with, we're going to do five forward folds, okay? So we're just going to hinge from the hips, reach down to the floor, feel that stretch through your hamstrings, let your head hang, and then we're going to roll up. And we're going to do four more of these. So hinge forward. Two more. Remember to relax that head down. Just let it hang for a couple of seconds. Bring it back up. Okay. Now we're going to progress that into an inchworm, okay, or a walkout. So we're going to do three walkouts. So we're going to fall forward, walk the hands forward on the mat. Drop the chest to the floor, then keeping your hands placed, just going to stretch up, keeping the hips down, bring that chest up, and we're going to push up, walk it back up to standing, and we're going to repeat that twice more, okay? So forward fold, walk it through, drop down to the mat, stretch it up. One more. Okay, now we're just going to do some rotations now. So I want your feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. We're then going to take our arms out to the side. 
what we're going to do, we're going to turn our left side up so our hands facing towards the ceiling and we're going to bring our right hand down towards our left foot, okay? And then alternate. Three more. Okay, bring it back up to standing. And then last stretch, we're just going to stretch up, pushing those. So if we link our hands together, push your arms back and bring them down. So stretching through our shoulders. One more. Okay, I think we're ready now, guys. So I'll just start the timer. We'll wait for 30 seconds each through the exercises. So we've got four exercises. We'll do them for 30 seconds each, 30 seconds rest, repeat before we have 90 seconds rest before we move on to the next four exercises, okay? So we're going to start in about 10 seconds. So let's get ready. Grab that drink if you need it. If not, let's get down to the floor, ready for those dumbbell pull throughs. Okay, three, two, one, off we go. Pull that weight across. Keep that core nice and stable. Don't let your hips drop down. Good, keep going. No rushing. You're just taking your time, getting it done properly, rather than rushing through it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, let's move that weight out of the way. Bring up that left hand and that right leg. Hold for three seconds if you can. Lie back down. Five seconds, time for one more. Okay, let's drop down onto our forearms. Arms parallel. Into that plank, off we go. Suck that tummy or your belly button in towards your spine and try not to let your hips drop down and try not to push your bum into the air too much either. So we're just holding this position nice and strong. Another five seconds. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Back onto our knees and our hands, and then it's right arm, left leg. Hold for that three seconds if you can. Bring it back. Awesome effort, keep going. Five seconds. One more, two, well, there we are. Let's take it easy for 30 seconds now. So that's round one done. As you can see, nothing too strenuous, but what it is doing is working on those finer abdominal and core muscles. Let's grab ourselves a drink and get ready to do it all over again in 10 seconds, okay? I'll be ready. Let's get down to the floor. Five seconds. Dumbbell pull throughs. Three Two, one, off we go. Pull through, hand down, and repeat. Five seconds, three, two, one, let's move that weight out of the way. Left hand, right leg. Hold for three, two, one, and down. Repeat. Three, two, one, and again. Five seconds. Three, two, one, drop down, elbows down, plank position, off we go. Halfway. Two. 
Ten seconds, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Drop the knees down, up onto your hands. Right arm, left leg, hold for three, two, one. Bring it in and again. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, we've got 90 seconds rest now. So while you guys are resting, I want you to grab a drink, come onto your feet, and keep moving. And what I'm going to do is show you our next four exercises for these next two rounds. So these exercises are going to be more core focused or abdominal focused. You'll get that burn a little bit more than what you did in the previous four, okay? So our first exercise is going to be a sit-up with a punch on each side, okay? Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Start from this position. You're going to lie back, bring yourselves up, and as you come up, you're going to punch to the left, punch to the right, and come back down. So that's exercise one. Exercise two is a leg raise. So we're laying on the floor, hands just under your bum, leg raise. Exercise three is a simple C-sit hold. So what we're going to do, bend our knees, feet flat on the floor. We're just going to lean back then, bring your feet off the floor, hands across your chest. And our last one is going to be the scissor kick, okay? So our feet or our legs just off the floor. Scissor kick position, okay? We're ready to go in about five seconds. Three, two, one. Sit ups with a punch each side, off we go. Good, keep going. Five seconds, three, two, one, what have we got next? Leg raises, down we go, hands under your bum if you want to, heels just graze on the floor, then squeeze back up, keep going, less than ten, Three, two, one, up we come. See, sit, hold. If you want to, you can place your hands just at your hips, yeah? Keep going, 15 seconds. If you need to rest, do so. Jump back in when you're ready. 10 seconds now, keep going. Five, four, three, Two, one, lay back, scissor kicks. Again, if you need to rest, jump back in when you're ready. Ten seconds. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. And relax, tuck the knees to the chest. Wow, was that so... That was a challenge. If you are feeling it in your hip flexors, we can just quickly roll over, stretch them out. We've only got about 10 seconds before we go through this all again. Right then, five seconds. Three two, one, up we go, sit up, one punch each side, again, not rushing, control up and control down, and nice and strong, 
Breathe your punches. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Leg raises. Off we go. Halfway. Keep going. Three, two, one. Up we come. Seize that hold. If you want to this time, you can keep your feet on the floor. If you can, tilt up. Ten seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Down we go. Into those scissor kicks. To open, close. Keep that core tight. Push that belly button down towards your spine. Ten to go. Four. Three. Two. One. And relax. Wow, awesome effort there guys. Let's take 60 seconds now. Little break before what we do is add all those eight exercises together and do it as one big round, okay? So I don't know about you, but my core is definitely feeling it as well as my hip flexors. So we'll make sure we stretch that out at the end, okay? We've got 30 seconds. If you do want a little stretch of those hip flexors, come down onto one knee. Let's just pull forward and then ease out. Swap that back. 15 seconds, then we're off, okay? One round, four minutes of work, and then we're done. Let's get ready. Pop your weight ready for that dumbbell pull through. Four, three, two, one, off we go. Fifteen seconds, so we're halfway. Keep going. Four, three, two, one. Left hand, right foot, off we go. Hold for three, two, one, and ease in. Repeat, three, two, one, and again. Three, two, one, and in. Three, two, one. Three, two, one more. Three, two, one, drop those elbows down. Off we go into that plank. Get comfy, 20 seconds. Fifteen. Keep going. Five. That's three. Two. One, drop those knees down, right arm, left leg, off we go. Hold it for that three seconds if you can. Awesome effort, keep going. Less than ten, then it's sit-ups straight after this one. Okay, three. Two, one, straight over into those sit ups with a punch. Off we go. Halfway. Keep going. Deep, deep. Three, two, 
one, leg raises. Push that belly button down to your spine. Make sure you're not overarching. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Up we come. See, sit, hold. Oh, this one's a killer. Let's go. Halfway. Core tight. Come on, keep going. Four, three, two, one. Woo. Last one. Scissor kicks. Off we go. Time to go. Four, three, come on, two, one. Heck, that was amazing. Awesome, guys, well done. That was a challenge. First of all, I felt comfortable, I don't know about you. Those second four exercises absolutely killed me. Let's take a second, we'll stretch off. But for those of you who want it, there is a little exercise finisher in the description, so check that out if you want a little bit more of a workout today. Everyone else, we're just going to take a lie down, stretch your full body, you stretch your arms out behind, stretch your legs out as long as possible. Okay, let's bring one knee into the chest. And then stop. And then let's hug both knees in. We're just going to do some small circles. First, one way. So clockwise. And then anti clockwise. But what we're going to do, if you can, arms out in that T position. We're going to drop the knees across to one side and then you're going to turn your head to look in the other direction hands stay where they are pick up the knees drop it across to the other side and again looking in the opposite direction back to centre and let's come up onto our knees so we're just going to go into that hip flexor stretch once more. So one foot forward, have a knee on the floor behind you. Just stretch forward through the hip flexor here. And then swap. And then bring it up onto your feet. Really hope you enjoyed that guys. I know I did. My abs are definitely feeling it. Um, so check out... Um, my YouTube channel for uh, other workouts, okay? Thank you.